This is about the child killer, the serial child killer, Lucy Letby, sentenced to life in prison, right? And <laughs> I cannot believe her nursing credentials are still there with her, and that's even an issue. I mean, normally you would just think, well, obviously we don't consider those anymore, or she's automatically stripped of these, but oh no, au contraire. Yes, it may just feel like common sense, but a two-day hearing by the Nursing and Midwifery Council starting today to determine whether or not Letby will be struck from the nursing well, register, so which seems determine. semantics anyway, given that she's got 14 whole life sentences yeah. and will never 14, be out of jail. 14 whole life sentences, now you're a nurse, now should we let you continue? What does it mean? I mean, is uh, what are the, well, we'll get into all of this. What does it actually mean for her? Our North West of England reporter Sophie Reaper has all the background on this interesting story. The most prolific serial killer of children in modern British history. Four months ago, Lucy Letby was found guilty of seven counts of murder and seven counts of attempted murder. Whilst she was working on the neonatal unit at the Countess of Chester Hospital, she carried out her killing spree. A jury at Manchester Crown Court spent 10 months hearing about the case, including details of how Letby carried out her attacks and seeing evidence which ultimately led to 14 guilty verdicts. In recognition of this, Justice Goss sentenced the former nurse to a whole life order, meaning she would spend the rest of her life behind bars. But the end of the trial did not mean the end of the story. I will do all I can to make sure that no one else suffers as they have. A statutory inquiry as well as a corporate manslaughter investigation into the Countess of Chester are now underway. In September, Letby's legal team also launched an application to make an appeal against her convictions, not to mention Cheshire Constabulary's continued investigation into further potential incidents. We've got a duty to the people of Cheshire and beyond to make sure that we investigate every single admission into the neonatal unit during the period of time that Lucy Letby's been employed, either at the Countess Chester Hospital or the Liverpool Women's Hospital, to make sure that we can identify any other um, potential allegations or potential offences that may have been committed by her. Today, a two-day hearing will take place, led by the Nursing and Midwifery Council, to determine whether or not Lucy Letby should be stripped of her nursing credentials. Commenting at the time of the guilty verdicts, the NMC Chief Executive, Andrea Sutcliffe, said, This has been a long, complex criminal investigation. We've kept in close contact with the police and the trust throughout, and will continue to do so. Ms Letby remains suspended from our register and we will now move forward with our regulatory action, seeking to strike her off the register. For Letby, if this goes ahead, regardless of the outcome of appeals and further investigations, she would no longer be considered a nurse. Sophie Reaper, GB News. Dear God, why are we even wasting time debating this. She's charged with 13 murders or whatever. She's found guilty of them. Serial killer. Whether even, even if those were, if that was a false, uh, what we're trying to say, if, if, if uh, she was found guilty and say she wasn't mm -hmm. guilty. It doesn't really matter. She's been found guilty. Therefore, mm -hmm. strip her of her nursing titles. Why do we bother going through this? It's like this COVID inquiry. Why are we wasting tens of millions of pounds for something that's going to go on for another two years mm. to tell us things that we already know. Move well, on. Let's just add it to the long list, increasingly long list of things that just make us tear our hair out every day. You're just crazy things in the news every day.